Well, 2012 was certainly a challenging year. There were so many men, women, and children that were desperately hurting, needing a job, needing a place to stay, needing hope to go on. Because of your support, our supporters of the Miami Rescue Mission and Broward Outreach Centers, you were the ones that helped us reach out to thousands of men, women, and children. You were able to help us do the outreaches that we did throughout the year. There were so many different ones that we did on the street. We did in sight of our centers. You started off the year with helping us with the hygiene Hope Tote Drive. Many churches, many organizations, many schools helped us with filling hygiene bags with toothpaste, shampoo, soap, and all those things that are needed in our Hope Tote bags. We were able to collect thousands of Hope Tote bags that we use on a daily basis and give out at all of our outreaches. You didn't stop there. You helped us with food drives. All through the year, organizations, schools did food drives. Without these type of food drives, we would not be able to say that we are able to do a meal for less than $2 each meal. It is because of the food drives that we're able to do this. My name is Richard, and I've been homeless for over 30 years. Today I'm not homeless, thank God, to the Miami Rescue Mission. I want to thank the donors from the bottom of my heart. I want to thank them for their time and their, their donations. And by the grace of God, I'm going to continue on this road. My name is Kevin. I came to the Miami Rescue Mission in 2012. I was diagnosed with cancer. And believing and trusting in God today, which the Miami Rescue Mission has taught me, I no longer have cancer. And I thank God for that. And I just want to say to all the donors, the volunteers and the supporters, thank you very much for your support and your volunteer. Yo he visto el dolor acercarse a mí, causarme heridas, golpearme así, y hasta llegué a preguntarme, ¿dónde estabas tú? Y ya en la tarde, eh, tarde noche, porque aquí anochece más tarde, serían como las 8 de la noche tal vez, yo sé que era tarde. Eh, mis hijos no habían comido, eso fue lo más, lo más duro que pasé porque realmente no tenía nada, nada. Y como él explicaba, porque yo nunca le he dicho a mi hijo, mira, es que no tenemos casa, solo le expliqué que que pues ya no podíamos estar más en esa casa. Pero el que mi hijo me pidiera comida y no tener a la mano nada, fue lo más duro. Por lo tanto, llegar a este lugar ha sido lo mejor que me pudo haber pasado. Gracias, Dios. Hi, I'm Barbara. I'm an alcoholic. Along that path, I tried many ways to stop drinking. I knew that I was going to become homeless. And for three days, I didn't sleep. I prayed. And when I walked out of the house, I had a backpack. I knew nothing about BOC. I didn't know anything such as this existed. I had made a phone call and they told me to take a bus, which I've never done. They told me to get off and find a tree. And I was not frightened. I really have BOC to thank. That day, I prayed for God to carry me. And I went to that tree and I thought that I would have a cot to sleep on for one night. And I was offered a bed for three months. And today, I look forward to every tomorrow. Today, I spend a lot of time with my family. And today, they're not afraid. 
I went and saw a play with, that my son was in, and my mother went with me. And we drove an hour and a half in the evening. That wouldn't have happened when I was drinking. Today, I'm Barbara. Today, I matter. And I want to thank all of you, and, and congratulations to everyone. Before coming to the mission was going from house to house, finding somewhere to lay our heads, and um, from family member to family member. It's a blessing to be able to have somewhere to come with your kids and, you know, be able to have a shelter, food, clothing, and, you know, support and, and guidance spiritually with devotion and church and everything. It's, it's a blessing. I have more peace of mind, uh, more confidence in, in myself, self-esteem, and uh, more faith in God. And I want to thank you donors and volunteers for helping to change my life. Hey, this is Ron Brummett, the president of the Miami Rescue Mission, and I'm here to tell you that 2012 was such a spectacular year. Thousands of men, women, and children were served. Hundreds became employed, went into the job market, got homes, and we can't do it without your continued support. Special blessings in this new year. All the very best for what you've done to help those in the greatest of needs. Well, that's right. Without you, we couldn't do all the things that we do at all of our campuses in Pompano, in Hollywood, and in Miami. I want to especially say thank you for all your donations, all your support, all your volunteering. Everything that you do makes a difference in someone's life. God bless you. That's right. And we're going to continue with our tremendous vision that no one is homeless. We want to keep our doors open 24-7. We want to see you come down this year and see for your own self what we do every single day. Again, as Marilyn said, God bless you, especially blessings to you. And from the bottom of our hearts and the thousands that you've helped last year, let's do it again and even better in 2013.